Good morning, I'm out here on my property. Uh, neighbor is doing some yard work across the creek, so let's forgive that guy. Today we're just using the uh, the haversack. This is my Hidden Woodsman haversack. This is definitely something for, for day hiking, day packing. I've had this, had this guy for years, as you all know. I today chose to use this guy right here. This is the uh, five inch uh, folding firebox. And this one is in TI. This is titanium as well. I have the stainless steel version also, but I figure for a haversack, um, a lighter weight version stove is cool. And I keep my lightweight version stove in my heavier case, which is this beautiful leather case. Got my little spice kit. Here is the box pot right here. Unused. I did wash it when I got it though, but it is unused. We don't really need to worry so much about what else is in here right at the moment. But look at this guy. This is nice. I actually have the measurements of this in case some of you are wondering. I uh, actually am having a bag made for this through uh, Murphy's Outfitters. And uh, I sent him the measurements. So the measurements for the box pot are... Um, I just don't want to get them wrong. It, they're, it's four and a half by four and a half by 3.25. So three and a quarter deep, four and a half by four and a half uh, by four and a half, really. But it's beautiful. I did get the, uh, the stone that comes with this guy. And I have seasoned it twice in my oven so far. I just seasoned it with my cast iron seasoning and it's been in the oven for uh, 400 or 350 for an hour. Let it cool down. I put it in 400 for an hour. Just two two coatings. I'll continue to keep coating it more, but that's that's what I did so far. So the cool thing about using the five inch system is this box pot here will fit right down inside of there. I put it on the second uh, fire stick uh, settings right there. So that's awesome. So we're gonna get this stove loaded up and we're gonna get some breakfast going because I've got yard work to do, boy. As cool as a new pot looks, it always looks better with a little bit of smoke on it, huh? Check that out. I was a little concerned about these handles, but you know what? They're doing well. They're staying right away from the flame like I was hoping, so that's good. So that water's about ready to boil. Let me show you this really cool pouch I got from the Hidden Woodsman. I'm using it to keep all my coffee stuff in. Get that zipped there for you. Uh, today, I'm just gonna be using this. This is a Copico 3-in-1. Uh, they taste wonderful. This is the last one I've got. Uh, but other than that, I've got my, my my spork in here. I've got coffee. I've got tea. I've got filters. I have uh, maple sugar or maple sweetener instead of cane sugar. Um, yeah, I've, I've got the whole kit right here, the coffee kit. If you guys want to see, see what all I keep in my coffee kit, I mean, I'll do a whole video on this. I, I love... I'm going to put my finger on this tab there to zip it. I love this case. I love the color. But it looks like my water is boiling. Wow. So, cool thing is, is this lid has strainers on it. If I just wanted to strain it out or pour it, I could. Um, I'm going to pull the lid off anyway, but I'll show you these strainers awesome strain holes if I wanted I, mean, I can I could just pour it hold your uh, hold your lid there and I could just use a strain hole if I wanted but the cool thing about this shape is it pours so well that is awesome
Lord, that's warm, but it tastes great. I'm moving the, the fire sticks up one notch. I'm gonna load the stove up. I'm gonna let these burn down a little bit because ideally we normally cook over coals, not over a scorching flame. This is getting about where I want it to be for cooking. I'm adding just a little bit of olive oil to the inside of the pan here, uh, just to prevent anything from sticking. I don't think it will, because I'm gonna cook a little bit of sausage in here first, but better safe than sorry, I think. Get some of that good sausage heat in here. Oh, yeah. Be careful with this knife if you have it. This boy is sharp. Okay. Add a little bit of garlic. Just a little bit of uh, no. pepper. And a little bit of Italian seasoning. Yes, yes, yes. I think my favorite setting is using it up on the very top. It gives me good control of the handles. I can move the handle any way I want, and I don't have to worry about the wind pushing the fire to melt my rubber on insulators here. So I do like that. So I'm gonna start using it up on this, on this top here. Let's see how we're looking for our food. Oh boy, looking good. So, I'm gonna do, pull this down, and reach into here. I got a couple sticks on fire right there. Yeah, I'm gonna use them right on top. Kind of help transfer some of that heat down. And we just start a little fire up on top, huh? Okay, so we have got sausage potatoes, eggs. I scrambled up the eggs. Look at that. Mmm. Mmm, top. But I tell you what, the uh, potatoes are perfect. I do not, do not like raw potatoes. Like if I'm making something, I don't want raw potatoes. I'm gonna use some of this Melinda's green sauce. This is a, um, Green tomato, jalapeno, spinach, cilantro, and garlic. Just gonna pour some of that right on top here because it tastes good. <laughs> Let's see, here we go. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Ooh. That's good. Need a little more, huh? Maybe a little more, I like some spice in my food. So, with this pot, look, it's gonna get dirty. It's gonna get dirty. It'll wipe off a little bit. I'm not worried about that. My stuff gets used. Your stuff should get used. If you wanna use alcohol on your stove, uh, alcohol burner and keep your pot always looking clean, that's cool. I'll use alcohol, I'll use wood. I wanna get outdoors and enjoy it. This is kind of a shakedown cook. Um, Shakedowns are where you go outside, you use your stuff. Maybe you're close to home, maybe you're at home, and you just kind of get used to the ins and outs of certain gear, certain kit, learning how to use this pot. Um, it's a cook pot, but it's a square pot, which is kind of cool. Mm. I'm waiting for my stove to burn down to coals here. I'll put my bread on there, and I'll toast my bread a little bit. Have some toast with this. Save a little bit for my toast. Mm. If you've ever done this before or not, but when you're down to coals, take your bread, stick them right here on top of your stove. 
just like this. Now only give it about 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and flip it. See how it already started toasting that bread? About 10 seconds is all you need on each side. Flip it over for maybe another 10. You just don't want to burn your bread. Who doesn't like toast with their breakfast? Right? I want to show you guys something else. I ordered this bag from the Hidden Woodsman. This thing is pretty awesome. But we were just at a camp. I, I host the Midwest Bushcraft Show. And in the show, uh, my kids kept using losing their utensils. So when this bag came, I was super excited because look at this. I'm keeping my silverware, my napkin, and my plate all together. And I like it because I can just, when I'm done, clean my dishes and put it away. It slides right in my bag, everything's together. So, I really like this. Thanks a lot, Mr. Airplane. But, look at that toast, perfect. One more piece of toast to go. And this guy needs to be used. He's sitting on the cusp of going bad. So, let's use it. Ooh, avocado. <clears throat> and the everything bagel seasoning. Just throw this on here like this. Oh yeah. Look at them all sniffing around. There's not even anything in here for them. So the glorious thing is, is I am on my own property, so I was able to uh, go in and wash my dishes. Let me show you something real quick here. Look at that. Nice and clean. I didn't scrub it. I didn't scrub it. Now, ordinarily, when I would use this pot uh, out in the woods, I'd put water in it when I was done cooking and I would boil the water to uh, to clean it. I didn't need to do that here so I let my stove burn down and cool down and do all this. This is a great pot for single serving. You can serve more than one person on it, but I would say this is definitely a perfect size pot for single serving. I've already got my next recipe in mind for this. This is a fun shakedown uh, cook with this pot just to kind of learn the ins and outs of it and how to manipulate it on this stove. Um, I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this guy. Thanks for watching, thanks for coming along. I've got yard work to do, we'll see you guys later.